Okay, guys, hello. And uh, I think we should get started, probably. I'm glad to see you all here. I want to thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. You know, so many people have said to me, in fact, you just said it to me, thank you so much for all, all that you do. But I want to thank all of you guys, too, for being so appreciative and responsive and coming to all these events. So give, give yourselves a big hand. And also the Ocean City Library, too, for even giving us the ability to put these events on. Yeah. So a little sad today because it's the last one uh, of what I think was a really, really wonderful series. I think, yeah, every one of them was absolutely wonderful with the same uh, rhythm section, which I'll introduce in a minute, uh, and a featured guest artist, saxophonist uh, for, for each of these, uh, all with a little bit of a different style of their playing. And for those of you that weren't here, I'll ap apologize a little bit to the people that have been here because I see a lot of the same faces, but the premise of this whole uh, series was to ask four of my young friends, um, <laughs> why are you smiling at that? <laughs> I couldn't say that 30 years ago. Now it's, yeah, everybody's just about that. <laughs> However, um, four of my young friends uh, to plan a program utilizing uh, the music of some of the saxophonists over the decades, uh, not only that this person may have grown up and lived, but over the period of time that these other saxophonists performed uh, and composed music and how though they were deeply influenced by th that music, uh, the, the style of the saxophonist, him or herself, or I should say himself, because in those, those days there were no female saxophonists. Now we have some wonderful young female saxophonists, but we certainly did, did not then. Um, so they've done that. They put a program together with the people that uh, were very important to their uh, learning and style and mentorship and, and, and all of that. Um, so today, uh, you will hear the music of uh, what Adam and I would uh, grew up listening to and cared a lot about. Let me tell you a little bit about Adam Nywood, who was our featured guest today. Uh, Adam was born in New Jersey, Livingston, New Jersey, uh, the son of uh, two professional musicians. And um, Probably what a lot of people would call, and I know this in one of his bios it stated that he comes from what some refer to as a family of jazz royalty. Adam's dad, Jerry Nywood, was a world-renowned jazz saxophonist, jazz artist, uh, best known, I think, for his long association with Chuck Mangione uh, when Chuck was doing all of his uh, very popular hit, hit music. Uh, Jerry was his saxophonist. For Adam, saxophone studies began at the age of three. I started at seven, but he started at three. And by the tender age of five, he had traveled on the road with his dad and had witnessed you know, people like Simon and Garfunkel, Liza Minnelli. While still in high school, Adam played the tenor and was uh, surrounded by people and played even with people like Lou Soloff, Don Menza, and Steve Gadd. So he, he was obviously, um, around some very heavy hitters, so to speak, in the world of jazz. He is a student of Berkeley, mm -hmm. William Patterson in New Jersey, the Manhattan School of Music, and also the esteemed Juilliard School. Throughout his career as a freelancer, he's played with an eclectic wide spectrum of people, and people like Ronnie Cooper, great baritone saxophonist, Andy Fusco, alto player, Warren Bache, Vic Juris, Bill Goodwin, Gene Bertuccini, Jeff Tane Watts, Dave Liebman, Gene Perla, Adam Nussbaum, Pat Martino, who I know we've done some of the music here in the past, and many other accomplished musicians. Um, Adam does have some CDs with him, which we'll mention to you, I think, later, if you're interested in purchasing one of those after the concert. So let's move on and get the music out here. First, I'd like to introduce the rhythm section for today, and they've been with us all week. And I'm, I feel blessed and honored to have had the ability to get these three guys uh, with us for the whole month, which has been absolutely wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, thank you. 
on drum, Fox Jumbo. Let's get a Washington. I said, how good a Washington. On the bass, Andy Lawless. On piano, the absolutely astounding and creative man, Jim Rich. <laughs> and our wonderful, wonderful saxophone playing guest, uh, let's welcome Adam Nywood.
planning on saying anything, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> the universe wanted me to say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll say nothing. <laughs> the first tune we played was a song that my dad wrote for my mom, Aww. Home With You At Last. Kind of like if you've been on the road a long time and you're envisioning what it's gonna be like when you get home, because the travel is a thing that you know what. <laughs> the next one after that was an arrangement of mine where I combined uh, the, mar the, it's the marriage, the melody of <laughs> Cheryl by Charlie Parker to the uh, rhythm section hits of another blues by John Coltrane entitled Mr. Day. So I thought to call it Cheryl Meets Mr. Day. <laughs> uh, the third one was It's You or No One, uh, which I'm most familiar with Dexter Gordon's uh, interpretation of it, and that's what we played for you, or my version of Dexter's interpretation of that song. And then um, one of my band leaders that I learned a lot of lessons from uh, off the bandstand and on was the bass player Gene Perla, and that was a song that he wrote for his wife entitled Sandy's Dance. There's a theme there. I think writing songs for your wife is, is good. All right, um, the next one that we're going to continue with is uh, by John Coltrane, probably just to, uh, you know, aid if you're like, what is that? You know, I'm just gonna tell you from the beginning. It's uh, John Coltrane's Satellite, which is his rearrangement and uh, reharmonization of How High the Moon. Let's turn this back off. <laughs>
for Bob Shomo. Andy Lalasas. Mr. Jim Riddle. That was a tune uh, written by the guitar player Bill Frizzell. I know it's supposed to be music of saxophone, but, but he's, a, he's an influence on me, so I'm sharing his music with you. That's called Strange Meeting, but don't imply anything else. People are so sensitive today. <laughs> we recently lost one of my heroes, the Newark Flash, Mr. Wayne Shorter. Please all give him a round of applause for the memory of Wayne Shorter. We're going to continue with one of his songs in homage to him. This is entitled Pinocchio. <laughs>
you very much once again for Jim Riddle on the piano. Andy Molasses on the bass. I like to pronounce people's names correctly. Bob Shomo. And hey, I, I can't tell you the number of times people have come up and said, I love your father's flute down arrangements. <laughs> Lenny Niehaus's son, right? <laughs> and I smile and nod and say, thank you. <laughs> My name is Adam Nywood. I'm the saxophone. <laughs> thank you so much. I, I really didn't, uh, there's no way to anticipate how many people are going to come up. Uh, this is so great to see so many people here. Thank you so much for coming and supporting live music in 2024. And uh, now, a word from our sponsors. One more time, Adam Nygut. Jim Riddle. Andy Lawrence. And Bob Berman. Wonderful work. Thanks all for coming. Uh, see you again sometime soon. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. If you, uh, if you want a CD, I have three of them. Come see me. And if not, they're all on the internet for free anyway. <laughs>